Hi, welcome to the channel English Professionally and this video course is 200 mistakes in English. So really it's a great course and I really hope that you like it. So you know that my name is Alex, okay? So my name is Alex. I work as an English teacher. I work as an English teacher. And um, I prepared this course especially for you. I prepared I prepared this course especially for you. Okay? I prepared this course especially for you. So it will help you to speak English without mistakes. So I think or I think or I suppose I suppose it will help you. It will help you. It will help you speak English. It will help you speak English fluently. It will help you speak English fluently and without mistakes. And without mistakes. Please don't make these mistakes. Please don't make. Please don't make these mistakes. So, lots of students, lots of students, lots of students, lots of students make them. Lots of students make them and they don't know that they don't speak English correctly. Okay? And they don't know and they don't know about it. And they don't know about it. Okay? So, if you like the idea of this video, please put a like and share it with your friends. So, if you like, if you like the idea of this video, oh, sorry, if you like the idea of this video, of this video, please, please, or oh, you can put a like, yeah, you can uh, put a like, you can uh, put a like and share it and share it with your friends and share it with your friends okay so really this uh, course is very special it's unique okay so let let me check so my name is alex i work as an english teacher you know and i prepared this course especially for you that's true i suppose it will help you speak english fluently and without mistakes so you know that you can say help you to speak or help you speak so both variants are okay Please, don't make these mistakes. Lots of students make them and they don't know about it. Yeah, it's terrible. Terrible. Okay, if you like the idea of this video, you can put a like and share it with your friends. Why not? Okay, so you'll see a list of 200 sentences and um, so there is a mistake in each of these uh, sentence. For example, look at the first sentence. I recommend you this hotel. So it isn't correct, it isn't right. But you need to understand why it isn't right, why it isn't correct. You need to find this mistake. Okay? So really, and you need to understand why uh, it isn't right. Okay? So I know that many students say it. I recommend you this hotel or I recommend you this book but it isn't correct so what's the reason why is it who knows who knows okay if you don't know don't worry we'll talk about it and you will understand it so that's why we are recording this video right now so this video is for you for you know for lots of students for all students around the world Okay, so I recommend you. So we say recommend. So we say recommend something. We say recommend something to someone. So you need to say, yeah, recommend something to someone. So you need to say, I recommend this hotel or this book to you. So only this way. Please remember it. Recommend something to someone. Next. I won't do it. So, you know, when I hear other students 
Uh, I, th I think if they have uh, a low level beginner elementary, they often say, I want do it, I want buy it. Please, don't forget. So where is the mistake? Okay, so if you have a verb want, you need to use to after want. Please, remember, want to do something, want to do something want to do something please remember want to do something i want to do it i want to buy it i want to sell it next i am agree with you so do you see the mistake how to say it correctly so you see there is a verb agree there is a verb agree. If there is a verb, you don't use the form of to be. Only I agree. I agree with you. Only this way. So there is a verb. There, because, you know, there is a verb. Like, I agree with you. Uh, you know, you see. So, but not am. Not am. So, because you have a verb. So, for. Are you agree with me? It's the same problem. It's the same problem. You need to understand how we ask questions. So if you have a verb and you need to ask a question in present simple, so you ask it with do or does, with do or does. So you say does with he, she, it, and do. So with we, you, they, I, you. So if you have you, you need to use do. Do you agree with me? Only this way. Do you agree with me? Okay? And this. Look, I am understand. Okay. It's the same thing. You have a verb. So it's understand. If you have a verb, yeah? You don't use the form of to be its rule. I understand, I go, I see, I buy, no to be. Please remember it. Okay, so recommend this. I recommend this hotel to you. I recommend this book to you. So let's read it again. Correct variants. I want to do it. So want to do something. I agree with you. So there is a verb. Do you agree with me? Do or does? I understand. And please remember, recommend something to someone. Okay? Okay, next. So, so the next sentence. Do she understands? So, where is the mistake? So, we have she. So, you know that if you want to ask a question in present simple we use do or does he she it does so does she understands is it correct or not not so we don't use s in questions we don't use s in questions so does she understand okay next she isn't work she isn't work so Work is a verb, and you know that if you want to say a negative sentence in present simple, so you put what? Don't or doesn't. Don't or doesn't before a verb. So don't or doesn't plus verb. So she, he, she, it doesn't. She doesn't work. Okay? Next, it interesting. So really, many students uh, say it this way. It interesting. So we need to add one more word. So there is a rule. I think you know this rule. So if we don't have a verb, if we don't have a verb, if we don't have a verb, and so we don't have a verb like go, buy, see. And we want to say it in present simple. 
and we want to say it in present simple, we need to use we need to use what? The form of the verb to be. We need to use the form the form of the verb. We need to use the form of the verb to be or the form of to be. So what is it? What is it? It am, is or are. So you know he she it is. So it is interesting. So we don't have a verb, so we need to use the form of to be. It is interesting. Okay, he don't understand. Okay? So the same rule. Don't doesn't plus verb. He she it doesn't. So he doesn't understand. Okay, next. And this uh, sentence. He doesn't understand us. We talked about it. Yeah, so he, she, it doesn't, but we don't add s yeah, after the verb, so we don't have it. He doesn't understand without s. Okay, so let's look at the sentences again. Does she understand? She doesn't work. Don't or doesn't plus verb. It is interesting. If we don't have a verb and we want to say it in present simple, we need to use the form of to be. Am, is, or are. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand it. Okay, next. Does she happy? Does she happy? So, what is wrong? So, we have this rule. You know, if we don't have a verb, and we want to say it in present simple, we need to use the form of to be. Am, is, or are. So, do you have a verb in the sentence? No. So, we need to use the form of to be in questions am, is, or are. So, he, she, it, is. Is she happy? Is she happy? Okay, next. She likes it also. So it's about word order. What order? So it's about what order. She likes it also. You can't put also in the end. So you need uh, to put it in the middle. She also. She also likes it. Or you can say she likes it. She likes it too. She likes it too. Two variants. Next, everyone do it. Okay? Or not okay? So, everyone means he, she, it. Please remember everyone, no one, somebody, nobody. It means he, she, it. So, if it's he, she, it, we need to add s. So, everyone does it. Everyone does it. Next, no one know it. No one know it. So it's the same situation. So no one means he, she, it in English. So don't forget to add s. No one knows it. So I like watch this movie. So is it okay or not? So if you have like, so you say like to do something. Or you can also say like doing something. It's okay too like to do something or like doing something so but you can't say you know this way without to i like to watch this movie or i like watching i like watching i like watching i like watching this movie i like watching this movie if you really like something you say usually say like doing something i like watching this movie so, with to or with ing, with ing, okay? So, look, is she happy? M is R. She also likes it. She likes it too. What order? Everyone does it. No one knows it. I like to watch this movie. I like watching this movie. 
So please remember these structures. Like to do something or like doing something. Next. I enjoy play football. So where is the mistake? Is it okay or not? So please remember this structure. Enjoy doing something. Enjoy means really like. So you can say I really like playing football or I enjoy playing football. So if you have enjoy, don't forget to add ing after the verb. Playing. I enjoy playing football. I love seeing. Okay? So it's the same situation. Love doing something. Love doing love doing something. So I love singing. Singing. You need to use ing. I hate do homework. The same situation. Hate doing. Hate doing something. Hate doing something. Okay? So if you want to say it correctly, you need to say doing. I hate doing homework. Okay? I'd like go there. I'd like go there. Okay? So you need uh, to remember this structure. Uh, I'd like to do something. I'd like to do something. So don't forget, please, to use to. I'd like to go there. I'd like to buy it. I'd like to call him and so on. To do. Yeah, you can't say it without to. Okay? And one more sentence. So would you like any coffee? So you know that there is that there is a rule that we use any in negative sentences and in questions and sometimes uh, you can hear it yes would you like any coffee but it's incorrect because there is a rule yeah so would you like some coffee so if you offer something if you offer something if you offer something if you offer something you use you use you use some you use some in questions you use okay some in you use some in uh, questions you see so would you like some coffee would you like some coffee it's a very common phrase it's a very common phrase a very common phrase so I, i'm sure that this information is very important so you see i enjoy playing football enjoy doing something I love singing, love doing something, I hate doing homework, I hate doing something, I'd like to go there, I'd like to do something, would you like some coffee? If you offer something, use some in questions, so it's a very common phrase. Okay, next. So, the company very successful. The company very successful so there is the mistake so i hope that you remember our rule that if we don't have a verb so do you have a verb in the sentence no we need to use the form of to be am is or are the company means it he she it is so the company is very successful next this organization is very powerful. So, do you see the mistake? Do you know the difference between this and these? So, this, it's one, this, and these. So, it's a long sound. And you hear Z. These, these. It's a long sound, E. And you hear the these and this it's a short sound and you hear s this so these it's more than one it's more than one so this organization is one so this organization is very powerful next i haven't a car so you know that you can use a negative form with don't or doesn't. Don't or doesn't. So, for example, I don't have a car. 
I don't have a car. Or you can say it with haven't. But don't forget to add got. So I haven't got a car. I haven't got a car. Okay? So students often forget about it, really. Don't, please don't forget. Okay? So I don't have a car or I haven't got a car. Next. I'll do it in next year. So where is the mistake? So next year without in. I'll do it next year, next year, next week, next month and so on. He is near from the hotel. So what is wrong? We say near something. Near we say near something. So he is near the hotel without from. He is near the hotel. Okay, so we have the company is very successful. M is O R. This organization is very powerful. So this it's one and these more than one. I haven't got a car. So don't doesn't. I don't have a car or you can say it with got. I haven't got a car. I'll do it next year. He's near the hotel. Near something. Okay. I went to home. How can you correct it? So remember this phrase. Go home. So I went home. Most women think so. So woman. So if it's most means many. So one woman but many women. So most women think so. Most women think so. Okay, let's look at the next sentence and at the next mistake. I need more knowledges. I need more knowledges. So where is the mistake? So you know that knowledge in English is uncountable, uncountable. You can't count it, so you can't say knowledges, only knowledge, only knowledge. I need more knowledge. Okay, do you like it? So it's a question. In present simple, we ask it with do or does. If you have he, she, it, you need to use does. So does she like it? Okay, next. This book is your. This book is your. So you know that you can say, uh, for example, your book, your book, for example, your, so your car, and so on. You have a noun. You have something after it. So you have a noun. You have a noun, yes? You have a noun after. You have a noun after. After this pronoun. After this pronoun. We call it pronoun. So you have a noun. So first, so in this situation, pronoun plus noun. So you see your, it's a pronoun. And then you have a noun. Your book, your car. If you don't have a noun after a pronoun, like here, yeah, it's not after, it's before. So you need to say yours. This book is yours. Okay? So let's look at it again. So I went home. Go home. Most women think so. Women? Women. I need more knowledge. So knowledge is uncountable in English. Does she like it? So do or does? We use does with he, she, it. This book is yours. Your book. Your car. You have a noun after this pronoun. Pronoun plus noun. Next. I do real progress. There is the mistake. We say make progress. 
I make real progress. I do many mistakes. We say make mistakes. So I make many mistakes. Look, it snows. So it's about now. And if it's about now, you use present continuous. We use it. We use present continuous for now. So you know how we form this tense. M is R plus, okay, plus verb. M is R plus verb plus ing. Because look, 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 it's now. So look, it is, it is. So he, she, it is plus verb snow plus ing. So look, it is snowing. Look, it's snowing. Next. They are there. Ah, so it was. They are there, isn't it? So, no. So, if uh, you have they are there, you look at this thing and you need to ask, aren't they? Aren't they? Aren't they? So, you look at it and you need to make the negative form. They are there, aren't they? They are there, aren't they? For example, Okay, I will, I'll give you one more example. It is good. It is good. So, you look at this thing and you need to, to form a negative. Isn't it? Isn't it? So, we say isn't it when we have is. If we don't have is, for example, are, we use another form, negative form. So, aren't they? Okay, you should go to cinema. Please remember this phrase, go to the cinema. Don't forget about articles. 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 So choose the correct article. Go to the cinema, go to the theater. So I make real progress. I make many mistakes. Look, it's snowing, it's present continuous. So now M is R plus war plus ING. They are there, aren't they? It is good, isn't it? Did she go to the cinema? So, don't forget about articles. Okay, so, next. I don't know. I never thought about that. So, I don't know, it means I don't know about it now. And I've never thought about that. So, it means that's true. So, I never thought about that in the past, and uh, I don't think about it now. And you know that in this case, if there is connection, if there is a connection with the present, if there is a connection with the present, you need, and you have never, and you have never, you need to use present perfect. You need to use present perfect. You know how we form this tense have or has plus past participle has or have plus past participle so have I have never thought about that I have never thought about that she told everything was alright so you can say she said everything was alright but if you have tell, you need to say tell someone. For example, but she told us, she told them, or something. So you can't say she told everything. So you can say she said, or she told someone. She told us, uh, or she told she told us that everything was alright, or she told them. But here, so she said, she said everything was alright. Okay, next. I learn English for two years. For two years. So often students huh, make this mistake. So where is the mistake? Who knows? I learn English for two years. Okay? So this word for 
tells us that we need to use present perfect continuous present perfect continuous so you know how we form this tense so it's have or has plus been plus verb plus i and g plus i and g so only this way and this word for tells us that we need to use this tense so i have been th then we have to use a verb verb plus ing i have been learning english for two years so it's present perfect continuous okay next i feel myself good so you don't use myself with good i feel good i read book yesterday so don't forget to put an article i read a book yesterday so don't f forget to put articles before nouns so i read a book yesterday so i don't know which it's new for me okay so let's check it i don't know i have no thought about that so there is a connection with the present plus never so you have to use present perfect have has plus past participle she said everything was all right she, was, she said or oh, tell someone she told us she told them next i have been learning english for two years present perfect continuous have has plus been plus verb plus ing i feel good i read a book yesterday okay next it was so an interesting lesson so where is the mistake so so plus adjective so plus adjective for example so interesting you know that interesting is an adjective or there is another structure such a n plus adjective plus noun so if you have a noun after the adjective you need to use such so it was such an interesting lesson so if there is a noun after so after an adjective so you need to use such i can't do it i come to do it now so it's about model verbs so you know that can or can't plus verb you don't need to i can't do it now i like listening the radio so where is the mistake so listen to listen to I like listening to the radio. I listened it in the news. It means that one time, one time. So listen, it's, uh, you know, when you try to concentrate. So it's about concentration. So just one time. So you need to use heard. I heard it. I heard it in the news. I must to do it now. So you need to know how we uh, say something with modal verbs. So can't plus verb or can plus verb and must plus verb. So don't use to. I must do it. I must do it. Okay. So let's look at these sentences again. So it was such an interesting lesson. So plus adjective, for example, interesting and such plus a or n plus adjective plus noun i can't do it now i like listening to the radio so listen to i heard it in the news i must do it now must plus verb next it cost four thousand dollars now it cost four thousand dollars now so if it's now so it means 
that it's about the present it's about the present so and you can think that we need to use present continuous present continuous or maybe present simple so how will you say it so what will you choose present continuous or present simple you know that we need to use present continuous but this verb doesn't have a continuous form doesn't have a continuous form doesn't have a continuous form so so you need to say it in present simple you need to say it in present simple he she it yeah don't forget to you to add s it costs it costs four thousand dollars now okay next we need to respect everyone regardless race nationality and social status regardless means no matter so it doesn't it doesn't matter so it doesn't matter such things as race nationality and so it isn't important it isn't important we need to respect everyone so where is the mistake so it's about prepositions so it's about prepositions like from of and so on to so regardless of regardless of so re please remember this phrase regardless of something so we need to res we need to respect everyone regardless of race nationality and social status okay next i not agree with you so there is a word it's present simple and you know that uh, we say a negative uh, form yeah don't or doesn't i so don't i don't you can say a full form do not but we usually say a short form i don't agree with you okay who know it okay so who means he she it so he she, if we have he she it we add s who knows it who knows it next who live there it's the same thing we add s who lives there okay let's revise it so it costs four thousand dollars now present continuous or present simple present simple because this verb doesn't have a continuous form we need to respect everyone regardless of race nationality and social status yeah don't forget about prepositions i don't agree with you so don't or doesn't so we use don't with i who knows it so if we have who it means he she it so we add s who lives there who lives there well so why you did it so it's okay uh, but not in questions so you know how we ask questions in past simple so first you need to use a question word like why for example and then you need to use did did okay so why did you do it why did you do it why did you do it question word plus did plus subject plus subject plus verb why did you do it next i look forward to hear from you soon it means that uh, i really want uh, i really want you maybe to call me or to write me okay you see so please remember this phrase look forward look forward to doing something look forward to doing something to doing i look forward to hearing from you soon so we often you know see it in correspondence in business correspondence in different letters i look forward to hearing from you soon so you know that uh, if you answer me or as soon as possible or if you call me as soon as possible i'll be happy 
hey I called to my friend so you know students often say it again and again call someone call someone without to I called my friend I called my friend next if I will do it I'll be happy so you know that uh, we are talking about the future but there is a rule in English so if you have if and uh, you talk about the future you need to use present simple so you use present simple after if when you talk about the future so if I do it if I do it I'll be happy it's because of if next I haven't got country house so it's a noun and don't forget about articles I haven't got a country house I haven't got a country house okay so why did you do it so question word plus deed plus subject plus verb I look forward to hearing from you soon look forward to doing something I called my friend call someone if I do it I'll be happy if plus present simple I haven't got a country house next it's more better it's more better so you know that good better the best good better the best you don't need more you don't need more you usually use more with long adjectives for example interesting it's an adjective it's long this word is long it's a long adjective more interesting more interesting and the most interesting and the most interesting so if you have er you don't you don't use more okay it's better I speak in English <laughs> yeah so students make this mistake again and again speak English without in I speak English I speak English he asked me do it he asked me do it so it's in infinitive it's in infinitive he asked me do it and it means that you need to put to before a verb he asked me to do it he asked me to do it okay do you like it yes I like okay if someone asks you do you like it so you can say yes I do it's a short answer or you can say yes I like but you know you say it yes I like it yes I like it don't forget it so yes I do or if you don't want it you know you can say yes I like it well so next I call you on next week okay so it's about future you see next week so I'll I will or I'll it's a short form and next week without prep without any preposition so next week I'll call you next week okay so you see it's better good better the best interesting more interesting the most interesting I speak English he asked me to do it infinitive to plus verb do you like it yes I do yes I like it I'll call you next week next I have been there yesterday I have been there yesterday so do you see the mistake so what is have been it's present perfect present perfect and what is yesterday so it was yesterday you need to know that if you have yesterday if it's in the sentence you need to use past simple so I was there yesterday 
I was there yesterday. So yesterday tells us that we need to use past simple. Only past simple. When it happened. When it happened. So you know how we ask questions. So question word. Question word. Plus. So it's in the past. In past simple. You need to use did. Did plus subject plus verb. So when, so where is did? We don't have it, so we need to put it. We need to put when did it happen? When did it happen? Don't forget to use did. He called me while I drove a car. Or when I drove a car. He called me. So he called me. So the first action. The first action, the first action is short, the first action is short, and the second action, and the second action is long. It means that, yeah, I, you know, I was driving a car, I was driving, 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 and then he called me, so it's long. So, and we use past continuous. And we use past continuous for long actions. We use past continuous for long actions. So it was were plus verb plus ing. Was were plus verb plus ing. So I was. I was driving. I was driving a car. He called me while. I was driving a car. What it means? So it's a question. It's a question. And you know, so it's present simple. And we use do or does. So in present simple, if we have a verb. So mean is a verb. So what? So if we have it, it's does. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? Okay, and one more. I'll do it when she will come back i'll do it when she will come back so it's the same rule that if you have if or when you use present simple you can't use future simple so i'll do it when she come back or not not when she comes back because she he she it don't forget to use at when she comes back okay so I was there yesterday, it's past simple, when did it happen? So question word plus did plus subject plus verb. He called me while I was driving a car. So the first action is short, the second is long, it's past continuous, we use it for long actions. Was were plus verb plus ing. What does it mean? Do does. I'll do it when she comes back. So you need to remember that if or when plus present simple when you talk about the future. Okay, next. So the next sentence is I should do it yesterday. I should do it yesterday. So it means it was a good idea for me to do, do it yesterday. So do you know how to say should in the past? It should have plus past participle should have plus past participle so if you are talking about the past and you want to use should you need to say I should have done it yesterday I should have done it yesterday next if I were you I did it if I were you or if I were in your place I did it so you know that really we use past simple after if but we need to use would or could plus verb in the second part of the sentence. So would or could. I would do it. I would do it. If I were you, I would do it. I would do it. Okay, please remember this grammar. Next, explain me the rules. So we say explain. Explain something. Explain something to someone. 
So explain the rules to me. Explain the rules to me. Okay, next. He is capable to do different things. He is capable means he can do different things. But don't forget about prepositions and I and G. So you know that we use, we use of after capable. He is capable of and ing after the verb in this case. So he is capable of doing different things. I'm very good in sport. We say good or bad at something means that you can do it really well. So I'm very good at sport. I'm very good at sport. Okay, so I should have done it yesterday. Should have plus plus participle. If I were you, I would do it. If plus plus simple, would or could plus verb. Explain the rules to me. Explain something to someone. He is capable of doing different things. So don't forget about prepositions and ing. Capable of doing. I'm very good at sport. So good or bad at something. Next, I advise you. So I advise you to do it. I advise you to do it. So is it right or wrong? So advice is a noun advice or advise 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 so we need to use advice i advise you i advise uh, i advise you to do it next i want to go to abroad or to another country say i want to go to another country remember this phrase go abroad without to Without two, you don't need two. So, I want to go abroad. Next, I made my homework. So, do or make. We say do homework, but make mistakes. But make mistakes. So, I did. I did my homework. I did my homework. He doesn't want me to do it. So, he doesn't want me to do it. Maybe I want to do something, but he doesn't want it. Remember this structure. Want somebody, want somebody to do something. Want somebody to do something. So, I, he doesn't want me to do it. Okay, next. He said that he will come. He said it's in the past that... So, we call it reported speech, reported speech, reported speech, or there is another name, indirect, indirect speech, indirect speech. So, and uh, we need to you, we need to change will to what. So, he said that he would come, it's rule, it's rule. So, he said that he would come. So we change it. So it's in the past and you have that. So we need to change will to would its role. So he said that he would come. Okay, next. So let's check it. I advise you to do it. Advice is a noun and advise z. It's a verb. I want to go abroad. Go abroad. I did my homework. So, do homework and make mistakes. He doesn't want me to do it. Want somebody to do something. He said that he would come. It's, so, it's reported in direct speech. We change will to would. Next, it's more bigger. So, it's about comparative forms. Comparative forms. Comparative comparative forms so big if it's a short adjective we add er bigger the biggest so without more it's bigger 
it's bigger without more it's better so bad it's an exception worse and the worst so not better it's an exception an exception so you need to remember it it's worse it's worst and it's the baddest thing no it's an exception please remember bad worse the worst it's the worst thing it's the worst thing okay next it's very good idea it's very good idea so it's about articles a plus noun yes a plus adjective plus adjective plus noun remember the structures and a plus very plus adjective plus adjective plus noun don't forget a before very so it's a very good idea it's a very good idea it's interesting offer so you have an adjective and a noun don't forget a or n a or n yeah, R O N. So interesting. In this case, we need to use N. It's an interesting. It's an interesting offer because of E, of the sound E. So if it's interesting of, it's an interesting offer. Okay, so it's bigger. Comparative forms: big, bigger, the biggest. It's worse, bad, worse, the worst. It's an exception. It's the worst thing. It's a very good idea. It's an interesting offer. A O N plus noun. A O N plus adjective plus noun. A O N plus very plus adjective plus noun. Next. I interested in sport. It means sport is interesting for me. Remember this phrase. To be interested. To be interested in something to be interested in something so if it's uh, about present M is or are plus interested plus interested I am I am interested in sport remember I'm interested in sport and you need to remember ED I am interested in sport I wish I am a millionaire I'm not a millionaire, but it's my wish. Remember this structure. If you have this structure, I wish. You need to use past simple. You need to use past simple. So, I wish I was a millionaire, but in this structure, we often replace was with were. So you can say was, but it sounds a little formal. So if you want to sound more natural, more informal, so we usually say were. I wish I were. I wish I were a millionaire. Okay, next. The love is a wonderful feeling. The love is a wonderful feeling. Okay, it's about love in general. It's about love in general. So I don't need this article. Okay. So love is a wonderful feeling. Next, I met him long time ago, last time. Met him long time ago, last time. Ah, you need to remember this phrase, a long time ago. A long time ago. I met him a long time ago. Here, I wish I can speak English very well. So, it's the same rule. So, I wish I plus plus simple. Plus past simple. Plus past simple. So, what is the past form of can? Could. So, I wish I could speak English very well. It means that it's my wish. I don't speak English well, but I want it. I want to speak it well. So, I am interested in sport. To be interested in something. M is R plus interested. I wish. I were a millionaire. I wish I plus past simple and we often 
change was to were in informal English. Love is a wonderful feeling, so love in general. You don't need an article. I met him a long time ago last time. I wish I could speak. I wish I could speak English very well. Okay, next. So, he suggests to go to the cinema. What is wrong in this sentence? Really, what is wrong? You need to remember, suggest. Suggest doing something. Suggest doing something. So, suggest plus work plus ing. He suggests going. He suggests going to the cinema. Next. I suggest you did it. So, I want you to do it. So, you can say, I suggest doing something, suggest going, for example, or I suggest, I suggest that you do it. Or you can also say it with should, that you should do it. So, these two formats, okay? So, not this one. So, I suggest that you do it, or I suggest that you should do it. Okay, good. So, we'll decide the problem. Please, remember this phrase, solve a problem. So, we'll solve the problem, not decide. You decide something in your mind, but you say solve a problem. Too much people know about that. Too much people know about that. So, what is the difference between much and many? Much and many. So, we use many with countable. We can count it one, two, three, four, five people. And much with uncountable. And much with uncountable. So, too many people. Too many people know about it. So, people is countable. We can count it. Five people, ten people. Too many people know about that. I go to the church and you yeah, are religious. It means are you religious? So we say go to church. Go to church. Yeah, this phrase go to church. So I go to church and you are you religious? Good. So he suggests going to the cinema, suggest doing something. I suggest that you should do it. We'll solve the problem. Too many people know about that. Much is uncountable, many is countable. I go to church and you are religious. Next. She is close to him. They are in love. So, they are in love means they love each other. And she is close to him means that she is near him. But not close, close to. It means near. She is close to him. They are in love. He is from United States of America. Please, don't forget to put the. He is from the United States of America. The United States of America. I was in the United Kingdom last year. So, it's the same thing here. In the United. The. Don't forget to put the. I was in the United Kingdom last year. I want to visit UK. Yeah, if you say it, the UK, the United Kingdom, the United Kingdom, the. So, the United States, the USA, so, United Kingdom. So, it's a five stars hotel. So, this hotel has five stars, but if it's one word, yeah, so you say it's a five star hotel without s without s it's a five star hotel so she is close to him they are in love he is from the united states of america i was in the united kingdom last year i want to visit the uk it's a five star hotel five star hotel next so, I had a three weeks holiday. So, it's the same thing here. 
So, so you can say my holiday lasted for three weeks. My holiday lasted for three weeks. But if it's one word, so three week holiday without s, without s, I had a three week holiday. Okay, I lied down. I lied down. Or maybe I was tired and I lied down. So you know, lie, lay, lie, lay. So it's about horizontal position. Horizontal position. Okay, horizontal position. So uh, you see, so I was tired and uh, I decided to lie down. So lie, lay, I lay down. Okay, so this word is irregular. This word is irregular, and she laid to him. So lie uh, can have another meaning. It means um, not tell the truth, not tell the truth, not tell the truth. And in this case, uh, this verb is regular. Lie, lied. She lied to him. She lied to him. She lied to him. So she didn't tell him the truth. She didn't tell him the truth. So I came to home very late. You know this phrase, come home, without to. So I came home. I came home very late. Okay. It's worth to read this book. It means it's a good idea. It's a good idea. Do you know this structure? Worth, but we say worth doing something. Worth doing something. So you can say it's worth reading. It's worth reading. Or this book. This book is worth reading. It means it's a good idea to read this book. This book is good. So worth doing. It's worth reading. Or this book is worth reading. Okay, without two. It's a good idea. So, I had a three week holiday. I lay down, lie, lay, horizontal, about horizontal position. So, this verb is irregular. She lied to him. So, lie, not tell the truth. Not tell the truth. Not tell the truth. So, she yeah she didn't tell she didn't tell she didn't she didn't tell the truth she lied i came home very late come home without any preposition it's a good idea so worth doing something it's worth reading this book is worth reading okay next it's a three months course so it's in one word so you don't need s. It's a three month. It's a three month course. It's a three month course. Hey, our turnover raised greatly. It's how much money we got. Or how much money our company got. So do you know the difference between raise and rise? Rise, raise and rise. Okay. So, usually someone, someone raises, someone raises, someone raises something. For example, we raised, we raised, we raised our sales, we raised our sales. Someone, if you don't have this something use rise so out turn over rows greatly it means uh, it got bigger it got bigger it got bigger increased increased it got bigger increased rose greatly when I will come home I'll do it it's easy we talked about it when or if plus present simple when you talk about the future so when i come home when i come home i'll do it when i come home i'll do it i have little friends 
have little friends. So do you know when we use little and when we use few? So we use few with countable, one, two, three, four, five friends, and little with uncountable, like water, fire, uncountable, fire, love, and so on. So friends, it's countable, so I have few friends. I have few friends. I was shocked with your words. So you need to know prepositions. With what preposition do we use after shocked? We say shocked at or by. I was shocked at her words or I was shocked by her words. Okay, so it's a free month course. Our turnover rose greatly. Raise rice. Someone raises something. We raised our sales. They got bigger. They increased. When I come home, I'll do it. When or if plus present simple. I have few friends. Little is uncountable and few for countable nouns. I was shocked at her words or I was shocked by her words. Okay, next. So, it influenced on my life. Influence means have had an effect. Had an effect. Had an effect on my life. Yeah. What about grammar? We say influence. Influence someone. Without on. So, it influenced my life. Influence someone or something. It influenced my life. Next. I saw it in the end of the book. So, where is the mistake? I saw it in the end of the book. In the end or at the end. We say in the end, but at the end of something. So, of the book, of something. So, I saw it at. I saw it at the end of the book. So, you can say I saw it in the end or I saw it at the end of the book. Next, it was in the beginning of the movie. Is the same situation. So, we say in the beginning. But at the beginning, but at the beginning of something, but at the beginning of something, please, remember it, okay, of something. So it was at the beginning of the movie, good, next. I very much love my girlfriend. So students often say so. I very much love my girlfriend. You need to say very much in the end. So I love my girlfriend very much. I love my girlfriend very much. You need to focus on education. You need to focus on education. Don't forget to put to after need. So between two verbs. Yeah? So need, you need to focus on education. So we have, it influenced my life. It had an effect on my life. Influence someone or something. I saw it at the end of the book. So in the end, but at the end of something. It was at the beginning of the movie. In the beginning, but at the beginning of something. I love my girlfriend very much. So we put it in the end. And you need to focus on education. Don't forget to put to. Next. I think you're right. I think you right. Okay? So I think you right. So you don't have a verb here. So you need to use the form of to be. I think you are right. I think you are right. I am understanding you now. So you see now. So if we have now, we need to use present continuous. 
if we have no we need to use present continuous so you know this rule yeah and you can think that it's correct but you know that this verb understand doesn't have a continuous form doesn't have a continuous form so you need to use present simple so you need to use a present simple and you should say I understand you now yes you have now but you say I understand I understand you now he's a friend of me he's a friend of me so usually we usually say he's my friend but there is a phrase he is a friend of mine he is a friend of mine it means the same he is a friend of mine he is my friend okay none of them didn't know it none of them didn't know it so you have a negative structure none of them and you don't need to say didn't so you just need to use past simple of no so none of them knew it he let her to go there he let her to go there so he said yeah, he told her okay you can go there do you know the structure let somebody let somebody do something let somebody do something without to he let her go there so he said he said or he told her okay you can go there okay so i think you are right i understand you now so present continuous doesn't have a continuous form yeah the verb understand doesn't have a continuous form so and we need to use present simple he's a friend of mine he's my friend none of them knew it he let her go there let somebody do something next it's a very big sport center so you know that uh, it's important uh, to speak english correctly but uh, english isn't only about grammar it's about vocabulary too so it's a very big sports sports center remember this phrase sports center i need new sport shoes so it's the same thing sports shoes i need new sports shoes okay he is a 50 years old man we say a 50 year old without s he is a 50 year old man they made them to accept that offer please remember this phrase make somebody make somebody make somebody do something so without to they made them accept that offer it means they forced they forced they forced them they forced them to do it so they did it because of them they did it because of them it interests me so it's easy so interest is a verb here and you know that if we have a verb and uh, we add s with he she it it interests me it interests me so it's a very big sports center okay so i need new sports shoes he is a 50 year old man they made them accept that offer make somebody do something they force him to do it it interests me he said me one interesting thing so we talked about it so he you can say he said one interesting thing or he told me told me he told me one interesting thing he said one interesting thing or he told me one interesting thing tell someone okay i'll do it despite she doesn't want it or although yes you can say i'll do it although she doesn't want okay but we have despite do you know this structure we don't we can't say it we need to say despite the fact please don't forget to use the fact so you can say i'll do it despite the fact she doesn't want it or although 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 she doesn't want it okay i will go there in spite i am tight 
So the same thing, in spite of the fact, in spite of the fact that I'm tight, in spite of the fact. So despite or in spite of, so these structures are the same, or all the, all the, all the I'm tight, in spite of the fact and despite the fact. Okay, he refused help us. So help is in infinitive. And it means that you need to use to plus verb. He refused to help us. He was made stay at home. So what is it? So you know that we talked about the structure and you can say they made him, they made him stay at home. So we have this structure, you know, make somebody, we talked about it, you see, make somebody do something, make somebody do something. But if it's passive, if it's passive, we say be made to, be made to, be made to. Okay, be made to do something. Be made to do something. So he was made to stay at home. So they forced him to stay at home. Okay, so he told me one interesting thing. You see, I'll do it despite the fact she doesn't, despite the fact that yeah, despite the fact that, don't forget that, she doesn't want it, or although she doesn't want it. I will go there in spite of the fact that I'm tight, or although I'm tight. In spite of the fact that I'm tight, or although I'm tight, he refused to help us. Yeah, 2 plus verb, it's an infinitive. He was made to stay at home, so it's passive. And you know that you can say they made him stay at home, so make somebody do something. But if it's passive, you say be made to do something, be made to do something. Well, so what is next? He asked me what was I doing? What was I doing? So it's um, indirect question, indirect question. And uh, you need to, to say a subject first and then an object an object so if you if you didn't have this if you had only this so what was i doing yeah what well, it's okay but if you have something before we call it an indirect question and first you need to use a subject i and then was so he asked me what i was doing good so next Whenever you will come, I'll be glad to see you. Whenever, so you know that we use present simple after when and if, and it's also true about whenever. So whenever you come, whenever you come, it means that you can come anytime, and uh, I'll be glad to see you. Okay, I don't know where is the nearest supermarket. Okay, so it's a question. It's a question and it can be okay. So where is the nearest supermarket here? Yeah? But it's an indirect question again. Because you have something before it. Yeah, you have uh, something before it. So I don't know. And you need to use the right what order. You need to use the right or the correct. You need to use the correct what or order. So subject and object. So, do you know where the nearest supermarket? It's a subject, and object is. Do you know where the nearest supermarket? I don't know where the nearest supermarket is. Okay, we arrived in the airport. Please remember, arrive at the airport. We say arrive in a city or arrive in a country, but arrive at the airport. It is, it's a phrase you need to remember it. Okay, the news are very bad. So you can think, yeah, it's okay, it's correct, but in fact it isn't. So what's the problem? So the news, it's singular, it's singular in English. It means it's like one, it's like it. 
it. But, and we say it is. So then use is very bad. Then use is very bad. It's singular. It's singular in English. Okay, so he asked me what I was doing. It's an indirect question. Subject plus object. Whenever you come, I'll be glad to see you. I don't know where the nearest supermarket is. So use the correct word order. We arrived at the airport. Please remember this phrase at the airport. And then use is very bad. So it's singular. It's one. It's it. It is bad. It's very bad. So the news is very bad. Okay, next. So what do we have? It happened with me. So can you find the mistake? We say happened to. Sorry, sorry. We say happened to. So it happened to me. So many students make this mistake. It happened to me. It happened to me. I wasn't used to do it. I wasn't used to do it. It means that it wasn't you for me. I didn't have any experience. So in this case, please remember the structure be used to doing something. Be used to doing something. So you have two different structures. So the first structure is used to do. It's one structure, used to do. Okay? So it means you did something in the past and you aren't doing it any longer. So you did it in the past. You did it uh, in the past. You aren't doing it now. You aren't doing it now. You aren't doing it now. For example, I can say I used to play chess. I used to play chess. I played chess in the past. I was a good chess player, but I'm not playing chess now. And there is one more structure, be used to doing something. So you have the verb to be and ing. Be used to doing something. So I wasn't used to doing it. It means it wasn't you for me. I didn't have any experience. Okay, so next. He is speaking the truth. Please remember this phrase. Tell the truth. So he is telling the truth. Tell the truth. He is telling the truth. Okay, so I work hardly. I am very hard working. So you know that many English adverbs have li. But if you say hardly, it means a little. So if you want to say a lot, you need to say hard. Remember this phrase, I work hard. I am very hard working. Okay? Next, he entered into the building. So we say enter something or get into something or get into something. So he entered the building without into. He entered the building. Okay, so it happened to me, happened to, I wasn't used to doing it. So used to do, you did it in the past, you aren't doing it now. I used to play chess. Be used to doing something. So he's telling the truth. I work hard. I'm very hard working. He entered the building. Enter something, get into something. Next. Is it good? I don't think. So, you know, you need to say, I think so, or I don't, don't think so. Please don't forget to use so. Is it good? I think so. Or I don't think so. So, will you win? I hope. It's the same thing. Don't forget to use so. I hope so. I hope so. Yeah. When you answer a question, will you win? I hope so. You need to consider. You need uh, to consider economical factors. So you know that we say economic factors. Economic factors. So it means related, related to the economy, related to the economy. So you need to consider economic factors, not economical. Okay?
But the, let me give you one more example. The machine is very, uh, the machine is very economical. The machine is very economical. So it means it saves energy. So if it saves something, energy, so it's economical. So it's about economy. Yeah. Um, for example, the economy of our country. So it's economic factors, political factors, technological factors, social factors and other factors. Okay. It's new thing for me. Don't forget about articles. It's a new thing for me. I grow up vegetables in my garden. We say grow vegetables, grow fruit. So I grow vegetables in my garden. Grow up is a phrasal verb. We use it so when we talk about our childhood. For example, I grew up in America. It means that I lived in America when I was a child. I grew up in America. Okay, so is it good? I think so. I don't think so. Will you win? I hope so. You need to consider economic factors related to the economy. The machine is very economical. Saves energy. It's a new thing for me. I grow vegetables in my garden. So grow vegetables, fruit. I grew up in America. Next. I'm accustomed to learn English every day. So what is accustomed? I'm accustomed to learn English every day. It means I'm used to. But you know this are actually used to doing. I'm used to doing. And a constant means the same. And we need to use ing. I'm accustomed to learning English every day. It means it's okay for me. It's normal. It's a normal thing. I learn English every day. It's okay. Maybe it was difficult for me in the beginning, but it's okay. It's all right. Okay. I forgot my keys. So you know that we forget something in our mind, but we leave things. So I left my keys. I left my keys. I know her for four years. So this thing, we talked about it, tells us that we need to use present perfect continuous. And sometimes students say, and sometimes students say, I have, you know, you know how we, you know how we form it, have been plus work plus ing. Have been, I sometimes hear it, have been knowing here for uh, four years. But this verb, no, doesn't have a continuous form. Doesn't have a continuous form. Uh, so, so you need to use present perfect. So you need to use uh, present perfect. So you need to use uh, present perfect instead of instead of present perfect continuous. And you know how we form it. So it's easy. Have has plus past participle plus past participle. So I have and past participle is the third form. No new known. So I have known her for four years. It's okay now. I have known her for four years. Okay. He may do it yesterday. So it's about the past, you know. He may do it yesterday. It's like, you know, it's like should. Do you remember? Oh, we talked about it. Should have done. So she may have done. She may have done it yesterday. So may in the past may have plus the third form plus past participle. We call it past participle. May have done. He may have done it yesterday. Okay, good. I'm afraid to do it. So what preposition do we use after afraid? Afraid of. So if you have another preposition, 
not to, you need to add ing. I'm afraid of doing it. I'm afraid of doing it. So, I'm accustomed to learning English every day. I'm used to doing it. I left my keys. I have known her for four years. So, present perfect continuous have been plus were plus ing doesn't have a continuous form. Present perfect have has plus past participle. He may have done it yesterday. I'm afraid of doing it. Good. It was too good. I was happy. So, what is it? I was too good. Too has a negative meaning. So, you can say it was too bad or it was so good. If you want to say it stronger, you need to say it was so good or too bad. I was happy. It was, it's very terrible. Terrible is a strong adjective. Is a strong adjective. It means very, very bad. And if you want to say it stronger, you need to use absolutely instead of instead of terrible. So it's absolutely terrible. It means it's really terrible. It's absolutely terrible. I'm here for two hours. For tells us that we need to use present perfect continuous. It's what we were talking about here. Present perfect continuous. Yeah, but you know that we say that B doesn't have a continuous form. So you need to use present perfect. I have plus B was were been. I have been here for two hours. Good. I fond of playing football. It means I really like it. So the phrase is be fond of. And we need to use the form of to be. I am fond of. I am fond of playing football. It's okay. If you say I am fond of something, it means that you really like it. You love it. You enjoy it. You are interested in it. Good. He gave me a good advice. We don't say an advice. We say some advice. Or a piece of advice. A piece of good advice. Or if you say, you say gave me a piece of advice or some advice. But you can't say an advice, it's incorrect. So some advice, some before advice, please remember it. He gave me some advice. Okay, so it was too bad, it was so good. I was happy. It's absolutely terrible. A strong adjective. I have been here for two hours. I am fond of playing football. He gave me a piece of advice or he gave me some advice. Well, so next. I'm 20 years. Can you find the mistake? So you can say I'm 20. Or I'm 20 years old. I'm 20 or I'm 20 years old. He was stolen. He is without money. So it means that um, some thieves maybe stole money. But so it's about vocabulary. So we steal money. But uh, if, um, no, for example, the thieves stole money and we talk about this person, we say he was robbed. He was robbed. It means his money was stolen. He was robbed. Or oh, his money, he was money was stolen. So we use steal about things and rub about people. He was robbed. His money was stolen. He's without money. Everyone know it. So, you know, we talked about it, that everyone means he, she, it, so we add s. Everyone knows, knows about it. Tell me, what should I do? So, yeah, you can ask me, or I can ask you, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? But it's an indirect question. But it's an indirect question. So, because we have tell me, because we have tell me, uh, before it, 
so you need to use you need to use subject subject plus object so you need to use the correct word order so tell me what I should tell me what I should do tell me what I should do okay next I got used to do it so what is it what does this phrase mean so we talked about this phrase I'm used to doing it it means uh, it means it's normal for me it's normal for me it's normal for me if you want to say it in the past so you can also use I was used I was used to doing it or you can also use get or, or got the past form I got used I got used to doing it don't forget to use ing it means it became normal for me it was all right so I'm 20 or oh, I'm 20 years old he was robbed his money was stolen he's without money everyone knows it tell me what I should do it's an indirect question subject plus object I got used to doing it I'm used to doing it so it's normal for me I was used to doing it or I got used to doing it so yeah but we use I and G in both these cases anyway so good well so what did you do on Christmas what did you do on Christmas so we use on on Christmas Day but at Christmas what did you do at Christmas as usually I finish my work very late so this phrase is as usual as usual it means that I usually finish my work late and I finished uh, my work very late too so it's normal it's I usually do it we arrived at New York so we talked about it arrive in a country in a country or city but you need to remember this phrase arrive at the airport at the right at the right at the airport arrived at the hotel arrived at uh, the party arrived at the conference so if it's a small place not a country not a city you use at arrive at yeah good please remember it so, but we have a city so we arrived in New York we arrived in New York well so I want to congratulate you for passing the exam so he passed the exam and I want to congratulate him remember please congratulate congratulate on congratulate on doing something congratulate on doing something so I want to congratulate you on passing the exam I want to congratulate you on passing the exam good to my view he is right so I can say I think he is right but I can use other phrases too but not to my view in my view we say in my view but to my mind to my mind these phrases mean I think I think he's right in my view he's right to my mind he's right so what did you do at Christmas as usual I finished my work very late we arrived in New York arrived in a country city arrived at the airport hotel party conference I want to congratulate you on passing the exam congratulate on doing something in my view he is right or to my mind he is right good he provides them money he provides them money or he gives them money provide someone provide someone with something so 
provide someone with something. You need to say he provides them with money. It depends from me. Very common mistake, really. It de depends on. It depends on me, please. You know, remember it. We often use it in spoken English. I'd like to get rid with this problem. It means that I'd like to solve this problem. I'd like to solve this problem. Or get rid of. Get rid of something. I'd like to get rid of this problem. It means to solve. To solve this problem. I was born on, on 6th of May. How do we pronounce it? How do we say it? On. Then we use the. And we add th. On the 6th of May, on the 7th of May, on the 8th of May, on the 21st of May, on the 1st of May. But we add there and not just, for example, 1, 2, but 1st, 2nd, not just 6, but 6 and so on. So I was born on the 6th of May. I like listening this kind of music. So what's wrong? You know, listen to. So I like listening to. I like listening to this kind of music. Okay, so he provides them with money, provides someone with something. It depends on me. I'd like to get rid of this problem or I'd like to solve this problem. I was born on the 6th of May. I like listening to this kind of music. So listen to. Good. I think this thing related to his past. I think it's okay, this thing, it's okay, related to his past. Okay? So you need to remember this phrase, is related to, is related to his past, or is connected, or is connected with his past, is connected with his past, with his past, is. Yeah? Don't forget to use it. Is related to his past or is connected with his past. He was so angry, he threw a stone to him. He was so angry, he threw a stone to him. So, you can say throw to. You can say throw to. For example, throw a ball to him. Throw a ball to him. But if you are angry, if you are angry, you say throw at, uh, throw at, you know, throw a stone, throw a knife. So if you're angry, you say throw at. You use preposition, use this preposition at. So he threw a stone at him. At. The weather was very awful. So awful is a strong adjective. So you can say very bad is a strong adjective you use absolutely instead of very. So the weather was you know absolutely awful. The weather was absolutely awful but not very. He insists to do it. Insist it means that he tells us very strongly in a very you know very strongly do it do it do it do it he insists do it do it and uh, he talks about it quite often, all the time, yeah, but you need to remember, insist on doing something. So he insists on doing it. He insists on doing it. And one more, it's on the top of the page. So we say, not on, but what? Good. It's at the top of the page. At the top of the page. At the top of the screen. So, I think this thing is related to his past or is connected with his past. He was so angry, he threw a stone at him. Throw to, throw a ball to him. Throw at, if you're angry. The weather, the weather was absolutely awful. So, it's a strong adjective. He insists on doing it insists on doing something, it's at the top of the page. It's at the top 
of the page. Okay, so it's in the bottom of the screen. So the same situation at the top of something at the bottom of something at the bottom of the screen. I won't do it unless he will agree with you. I won't do it unless he will agree with you. So you know that if we are talking about if, when, so what else? As soon as, as soon as, before, before, after, unless, we need to use present simple. We need to use, you see, present, present simple instead of future simple. So unless he agree, then don't forget to use S until he agrees with you. Well, I'll go to California. I really want to live in America. So if you hear it, yeah, maybe it's good. But look at the spelling. So I'll go to California. I really want to live, live. Not leave, leave. Leave, it's a long sound, but it's a short sound. I really want to live in America. Good. He is married with her. Married to. He is married to her. He is married to her. He wants to marry on her. Yeah, please remember these phrases. So, be married be married to someone but but yeah but marry someone but marry someone so he wants to marry her without a preposition so he wants to marry her okay so it's at the bottom of the screen i won't do it unless he agrees with you so if when as soon as, before, after, unless, plus present simple. I'll go to California. I really want to live in America. He is married to her. He wants to marry her. Be married to someone, but marry someone. I'm proud about your success. Proud? What preposition do we use after proud? Proud of. I'm proud of your success. Translate it to English. We say translate it into English. For example, translate it from from Spanish into English or translate it into English. On another hand, it can be a good decision. So it's a good spoken phrase, but it's not on another. It's on the other hand. It's on the other hand. So, on one hand, on the other hand. On the other hand, it can be a good decision. Good. I used to live in there. Yeah, we talked about this phrase. So, if you did something in the past and you aren't doing it now, you use used to plus work without ing. I used to live there. It means I lived there earlier, but I'm not living now. I used to live there. I enjoy speak English. Yeah, that's true. But let's correct it. So enjoy doing something. Enjoy doing something. So I enjoy speaking English. I really enjoy speaking English. It's my greatest hobby. I enjoy speaking English. Enjoy doing something. I enjoy speaking English. Good. So I am proud of your success. Translate it from Spanish into English. On the other hand, it can be a good decision. It can be a good decision. I used to live there. Used to plus verb. I enjoy speaking English. I enjoy doing something. He told me that he did it earlier. Look, he told me that he did it earlier. So first he did, and then he told me. So yeah, we have past simple, but the second action happened earlier. So we need to use past perfect. So it's one time before. It's one time before 
the past. One, it's it's the past, but one time before past simple. One time before past simple, and we form it this way: had plus past participle past participle. So that he had past participle or the third form. He had done it earlier. I'll go on, learn English. So you can say continue doing or go on doing. Word plus ing, I'll go on learning. I'll go on learning English. It isn't enough, good. So you need to use the correct word order. The correct word order. It isn't good enough. So you put enough after the adjective. Next, she has difficulty to pass the exam. Remember, difficulty have difficulty doing something. Passing or in passing. Remember, have difficulty doing something or have difficulty in doing something. And here, it's no use to do it again. So the same thing, it's no use doing in. It means that um, it's pointless, it's bad, it, it won't give us a good result. It won't give us a good result result it's no use doing it again no use doing doing remember the structures yeah they are very difficult so they are at the end of this video course there is no point to go there the same thing there is no point in going there good Good. So we say there is no point going there or there is no point in going there. And that's also true about this structure. I mean no use. So we can say no use doing or no use in doing. Alright, so next. I want to make less mistakes. Yeah, I want to make less mistakes. So we can count mistakes so we need to say fewer, fewer mistakes, fewer mistakes, little, less, less water, less energy, but fewer mistakes, fewer mistakes. He asked me, how was it? It's an indirect question, indirect question, and you need to put a subject first. He asked me how it was. He asked me how it was. Good. It's one of the most interesting thing. I often, you know, hear this mistake. It's one of the most interesting things. Things. It's one of the most interesting things. So you need to, to use plural. 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 So not one. So please don't forget to put s. Remember, it's one of the it's one of the greatest English channels. It's one of the greatest, it's one of the greatest English channels, channels, yeah, channels, channels, yeah, S, channels, channels. I went there by foot, so we say go on foot, I went there on foot. Okay, so what do we have? There is no point in going there, or there is no point going there. I want to make fewer mistakes. He asked me how it was. It's an indirect question. It's one of the most interesting things. It's one of the greatest English channels. I went there on foot. Good. He supposed, yeah, he supposed he expected to win. Do you know the structure? 
to be supposed supposed to or to be expected to so if uh, you're talking about present you need to use am is or are so he is supposed to win it means other people suppose that he will win he is expected to win other people expect that he will win I'll do it as soon as she will call me. We talked about it, that if you have as soon as, we need to use present simple. Yeah, we talk about future, but we need to use present simple. When she call or not, we add as, when she calls me. So I'll do it as soon as she calls me. What are you looking? What are you looking? Yeah, but we usually, you know, we use look with prepositions. So, what are you looking at? What are you looking at? Or what are you looking for? Maybe you lost uh, your, key, your keys or he lost his keys and I can ask him, what are you looking for? Yeah, we put it in the end. What are you looking at? What are you looking for? I play piano. So, you know that we say... For example, I play computer games, I play computer games, but if we have, but if we have a musical instrument, for example, piano, it's a musical instrument, we need to add the, we need to use an article, I play the piano, I play the violin, so we actually use the with musical instruments so I hope you know it I play the piano I play the violin next needless say this lesson is very informative do you know the structure needless to say it's very good we hear it in spoken English it means there is no need to say, there is no need to say, there is no need to say. It means that's clear, that's clear, it's easy to see it. So needless to say, this lesson is very informative, it's full of useful information. So he's supposed, he's expected to win, to be supposed, to be expected to. I'll do it as soon as she calls me, as soon as, plus present simple, what are you looking at, what are you looking for. I play the piano, I play the violin, so it's a musical instrument, I play computer games. Needless to say, this lesson is very informative, there is no need to say, that's clear. Good. I put my best clothes and went out. So I went out, maybe went to a party, so... You no, know, it's about it's about phrasal verbs. You know, we have a great video, 250 phrasal verbs. Put on, put on my body. So I put on. We say put on clothes, put on my best clothes, and went out. The solution of that problem was very strange. Solution. We say solve a problem. Solution is a noun. The solution to. Remember the correct preposition. The solution to that problem was very strange good the ship drowned so yeah if we are talking about ships boats we use sink sink sank so the ship sank the ship sank it went under the water went under the water the ship sank it went under the water he sank in the lake you were talking about people. We use drown. It's this verb is regular. Drowned in the lake. It means that uh, he died. He went under the water, and the ship sank. It went under the water. It's with things and it's with people. So you think the same like me? Please remember it. The same as you think the same as me. You think the same as me so I think this channel is very good I think this channel is useful and uh, you can tell me you think the same as me
Good, very good. So I put on my best clothes and went out. The solution to that problem was very strange. The ship sank. It went under the water. He drowned in the lake. You think the same as me. Okay, I'd like to thank you for coming, for your attention, for your great support. I really need it and appreciate it. Okay, uh, bye my friends. See you. Or are. So, you know, he, she, it is. So, it is interesting. So, we don't have a verb. So, we need to use the form of to be. It is interesting. Okay, he don't understand. Okay? So, the same rule. Don't, doesn't plus verb. He, she, it, doesn't. So, he doesn't understand. Okay, next. And this uh, sentence. He doesn't understand us. We talked about it. Yeah, so he, she, it doesn't. But we don't add s. Yeah, after the verb. So, we don't have it. He doesn't understand without s. Okay, so let's look at the sentences again. Does she understand? She doesn't work. Don't or doesn't plus verb. It is interesting. If we don't have a verb and we want to say it in present simple, we need to use the form of to be. Am, is or are. He doesn't understand. He doesn't understand it. Okay, next. Does she happy? Does she happy? So, what is wrong? So, we have this rule. You know, if we don't have a verb and we want to say it in present simple, we need to use the form of to be. Am, is or are. So, do you have a verb in the sentence? No. So, we need to use the form of to be in questions am is or are so he she it is is she happy is she happy okay next she likes it also so it's about word order what order so it's about what order she likes it also you can't put also in the end so you need uh, to put it in the middle she also, she also likes it. Or you can say, she likes it. She likes it too. She likes it too. Two variants. Next, everyone do it. Okay? Or not okay? So everyone means he, she, it. Please remember everyone, no one, somebody, nobody. It means he, she, it. So, if it's he, she, it, we need to add s. So, everyone does it. Everyone does it. Next. No one know it. No one know it. So, it's the same situation. So, no one means he, she, it in English. So, don't forget to add s. No one knows it. So, I like watch this movie. So, is it okay or not? So, if you have like, so you say like to do something. Or you can also say correct, it isn't right. But you need to understand why it isn't right, why it isn't correct. You need to find this mistake. Okay? So, really, and you need to understand why uh, it isn't right. Okay? So, I know that many students say it. I recommend you this hotel or I recommend you this book. But it isn't correct. So, what's the reason? Why is it? Who knows? Who knows? Okay. If you don't know, don't worry. We'll talk about it. And you will understand it. So, that's why we are recording this video right now so this video is for you for you know for lots of students for all students around the world okay so i recommend you so we say recommend so we say recommend something 
we say recommend something to someone so you need to say yeah recommend something to someone so you need to say I recommend this hotel or this book to you so only this way please remember it recommend something to someone next I want do it so you know when I hear other students uh, I think if they have uh, a low level beginner elementary they often say I want do it I want buy it please don't forget so where is the mistake okay so if you have a verb want you need to use to after want please remember want to do something want to do something want to do something please remember want to do something I want to do it I want to buy it I want to sell it next I am agree with you so do you see the mistake how to say it correctly so you see there is a verb agree there is a verb agree if there is a verb you don't use the form of to be only I agree I agree with you only this way so there is a verb because you know there is a verb like I agree with you uh, you know you see so but not am not am so because you have a verb so for are you agree with me it's the same problem it's the same problem you need to understand how we ask questions so if you have a verb and you need to ask a question in present simple so you ask it will do or does will do or does so you say does with he she it and do like doing something it's okay too like to do something or like doing something so but you can't say you know this way without to I like to watch this movie or I like watching I like watching I like watching I like watching this movie I like watching this movie if you really like something you say usually say like doing something I like watching this movie so with to or with I and G with I and G okay so look is she happy M is R she also likes it she likes it too what order everyone does it no one knows it I like to watch this movie I like watching this movie so please remember these structures like to do something or like doing something next I enjoy play football so where is the mistake is it okay or not so please remember this structure enjoy doing something enjoy means really like so you can say I really like playing football or I enjoy playing football so if you have enjoy don't forget to add ing after the verb playing I enjoy playing football I love sing okay so it's the same situation love doing something love doing it love doing something so I love singing singing you need to use ing I hate do homework the same situation hate doing hate doing something hate doing something okay so if you want to say it correctly you need to say doing I hate doing homework okay I'd like go there I'd like go there okay so you need uh, to remember this structure I'd like to do something I'd like to do something so 
Don't forget, please, to use to. I'd like to go there. I'd like to buy it. I'd like to call him and so on. To do. Yeah, you can't say it without to. Okay? And one more sentence. So, would you like any coffee? So, you know that there is, that there is a rule that we use any in negative sentences and in questions. And sometimes uh, you can hear it, yes, would you like any coffee? But it's incorrect because there is a rule. Yeah, so, would you like some coffee? So, if you offer something, if you offer something, if you offer something, if you offer something, you use, you use, you use some, you use some in questions, you use, okay, some in, use some in uh, questions, you see. Hi, welcome to the channel English Professionally, and this video course is 200 mistakes in English, so really it's a great course and I really hope that you like it. So, you know that my name is Alex, okay? So, my name is Alex. I work as an English teacher. I work as an English teacher. And um, I prepared this course especially for you. I prepared, I prepared this course especially for you. Okay, I prepared this course especially for you, so it will help you to speak English without mistakes. So, I think, or I think, or I suppose, I suppose it will help you, it will help you, it will help you speak English, it will help you speak English fluently, it will help you speak English fluently, and without mistakes and without mistakes please don't make these mistakes please don't make please don't make these mistakes so lots of students lots of students lots of students lots of students make them lots of students make them and they don't know that they don't speak English correctly, okay? And they don't know, and they don't know about it, and they don't know about it, okay? So, if you like the idea of this video, please put a like and share it with your friends. So, if you like, if you like the idea of this video, oh, sorry, if you like the idea, of this video of this video please please or oh, you can put a like yeah you can uh, put a like you can uh, put a like and share it and share it with your friends and share it with your friends okay so really this uh, course is very special it's unique okay so let let me check so my name is Alex I work as an English teacher, you know, and I prepared this course especially for you, that's true. I suppose it will help you speak English fluently and without mistakes. So you know that you can say help you to speak or help you speak. So both variants are okay. Please, don't make these mistakes. Lots of students make them and they don't know about it yet. It's terrible. Terrible. Okay, if you like the idea of this video, you can put a like and share it with your friends. Why not? Okay, so you'll see a list of 200 sentences and um, so there is a mistake in each of these uh, sentences. For example, look at the first sentence. I recommend you this hotel. So it isn't true. So with we, you, they. I, you, so if you have you, you need to use do. Do you agree with me? Only this way. Do you agree with me? Okay? And this. Look, I am understand. Okay. It's the same thing. You have a verb. So, it's understand. If you have a verb, yeah, you don't use the form of to be its rule. 
I understand, I go, I see, I buy, no to be. Please remember it. Okay, so recommend this. I recommend this hotel to you. I recommend this book to you. So let's read it again. Correct variants. I want to do it. So want to do something. I agree with you. So there is a verb. Do you agree with me? Do or does. I understand. And please remember, recommend something to someone. Okay? Okay, next. So, so the next sentence. Do she understands? So, where is the mistake? So, we have she. So, you know that if you want to ask a question in present simple, we use do or does. He, she, it, does. So, does she understands? Is it correct or not? Not. So, we don't use S in questions. We don't use S in questions. So, does she understand? Okay, next. She isn't work. She isn't work. So, work is a verb. And you know that if you want to say a negative sentence in present simple, so you put what don't or doesn't don't or doesn't before a verb so don't or doesn't plus verb so she he she it doesn't she doesn't work okay next it interesting so really many students uh, say it this way it interesting so we need to add one more word so there is a rule i think you know this rule so if we don't have a verb if we don't have a verb if we don't have a verb and so we don't have a verb like go buy see and we want to say it in present simple and we want to say it in present simple we need to use we need to use what the form of the verb to be we need to use the form the form of the verb we need to use the form of the verb to be or the form of to be so what is it what is it it am is 